Hello, my friend. We're gonna start with this What I Eat in a Day with Elizabeth, my daughter, and it's the Italian edition because I shoot it while we were in Italy visiting my family. As you can see, this is my dad's fridge with a lot of uh, magnets that we collect all over the world. Elizabeth's breakfast, it's always a yogurt. This one, it's strawberry, it's uh, organic because I always try to give her an um, organic option. She loves to eat it by herself. Obviously, she gets a lot of kisses in the morning. And even though she gets messy, as you can see, she drops most of it. I always um, try to make her eat by herself so she'll get better with the spoon. And obviously, I help her clean her mouth up when it's the case. Usually in the morning I don't eat right away when I wake up because I'm not really hungry. What I usually do, I just uh, make tea. That's exactly what I'm gonna do today for myself. I'm gonna start by boiling some water. I'm gonna make tea for Henry to my husband because he had a little throw ache. And Elizabeth here after yogurt is eating uh, fette biscottate, which is a very popular thing in Italy. It's like a pan brioche uh, toasted, so it's super good and a very common breakfast item. Here I'm cutting some lemons to put in the tea, especially with the throat being sore. This is the tea I'm gonna use. It's um, it's a green tea and black tea with rose petals and other kinds of fruits. It's very uh, flavorful and I just love hot tea in the morning. Pouring it into the lemon. I usually, mine, I even squeeze the lemons in it so it's more lemony. And after this, we're just gonna get ready and go out to have a very nice walk. You can see here St. Peter's Church, which is one of my favorite places. We're gonna stop to have breakfast in a bar. That's how we say cafes in Italian. I'm gonna have this little pastry, chocolate chips and custard and a cappuccino. Elizabeth obviously had to try my food because she's my personal tester and she wanna make sure my food is not poisoned. I'm not really a coffee person, but once in a while, while I'm in Italy, I usually have like a cappuccino or two. And here we had a very nice walk and actually it became so late that we had to rush home because it was lunchtime, but we stopped at one of my favorite panificio, which is where they make pizza and bread. Got some of this little pizzette to take home. Elizabeth obviously had to try that too because again she's our personal taster and since it was so late it was time to have lunch I just made a quick salad with some carrots, fennel and cherry tomatoes very quick because Elizabeth gets very angry while, when she's hungry so I just made this for the whole family we had some stracchino cheese, which is a spreadable cheese that I love. And I mean, when I go back to Italy, that's what I eat almost every day. Put a little olive oil on top. That's Elizabeth's plate. Here you can see the cheese. She loves it too. And we have that pizza and pizzette that we bought before. And that's how we're gonna have our lunch. Very easy and light especially because we're gonna have guests for dinner and we're gonna have pasta you'll see it later so i want to keep the lunch very light but as you can see elizabeth is very good she loves veggies and she obviously loves pizza and cheese
after we're done with the main stuff uh elizabeth always likes fruit and actually i like fruit too after my meals and we're just gonna share an apple so usually she eats half and i eat half or maybe she eats a little less depends every day it's different but here we're sharing this apple so we're both eating half and Elizabeth loves water. I think it's one of her favorite things. She always goes around with this little bottle of water everywhere. It's her security blanket. So here you can see I got a haircut in the afternoon. So I just wanted to show you how my hair looks. But as a snack in the afternoon, I'm eating an orange. I love, love fruit. So that's always my go-to snack. And I thought I was gonna give a little bit to Elizabeth, but she saw this chocolate uh, spreadable crunchy thing that she found in the Befana stocking, which is a tradition in Italy, the 6th of January. So I let her have it because she ate so good at lunch that she could have a little chocolate. She didn't even finish this, she didn't want it anymore, it was probably too hard to eat but she wanted some fruit, so she had apple and a little bit more of the fetta biscottata. And here we pass to dinner. Elizabeth had dinner with my dad before us because we had guests coming over late and she just had plain pasta, nothing fancy with butter and parmigiano. She really loves pasta and as you can see, She's very good at eating it too. And she almost finished the whole plate, but after that she saw some pizza from lunch and she wanted that. I mean, she loves carbs like most people. And I didn't shoot it, but she ate a clementine after that as well. Here I'm gonna show you how I made a carbonara, which is a very popular, typical pasta from Rome and obviously Rome is where I'm from so you get egg yolks and eggs some pecorino cheese you mix everything together add some of the pasta water to make it smoother and then you need the guanciale you put it in the pan let it uh, fry in the pan with its own fat coming out as you can see I wish you could smell it it smells so good getting the pasta out of the boiling water and the pasta it's ready it's so tasty I love it every time I go back either my dad or me make it every time here we're having dinner with our friends and enjoying the pasta after that I just made some chicoria which is which is sicory in Italian it's a very popular herbs like vegetables um, in Rome with garlic and red pepper and we just have in other sides like carrots and cherry tomatoes some cheeses bread little pizza from the lunch and then the guests bought some pastries which is was so thoughtful and nice i ate a few of them which were so delicious and after cleaning up the whole kitchen, the whole house, it's finally time to go to sleep. But before that, I'm just having some chamomile tea because it was almost 1 a.m. and I just needed to relax a little bit more and I really love tea. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that 2020 will be a good year for you. Thank you, I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!